What's going on guys? Welcome back to Maya Travels. Today I'm doing something different than what you guys might be used to watching here on my channel. Today I am taking a road trip from my, uh, Miami. I wish I was in Miami, but I am in Florida as you can see. You know, it's beautiful sunny weather. Got some palm trees over there. I'm just stopping for gas before I take this fleet, well this thing, to New Jersey. So I'm driving from Florida to New Jersey and for those of you who aren't from the US that's from the south to the north so this is going to be a road trip video from the south of america to the north and it's about a total of a 1200 mile trip which is usually takes about 20 to a little bit more hours if you drive it through which i don't think i'm going to be doing because it's 10 a.m it's i don't think i'll get there till really late if i leave so what i'm going to be doing is actually stopping halfway in north carolina so i'll show you guys that as well but first we got to go in grab some water we need your road trip essentials so i'm at this racetrack gotta come and grab some water some gum nothing too crazy all right guys i'm paying six dollars for that i paid sixty dollars to fill up the tank so i'm going to kind of give you a cost the average cost of doing this road trip as well throughout from the south to the north of america all right guys so i got everything i need for the trip now i uh, just wanted to show you so this is where i'm headed benson north carolina about 662 miles it says it's going to take about nine hours to get there that's a long time that's about halfway through the journey as i said the total trip is about i guess you could say 1200 miles something like that to get from florida to new jersey or new york so it's going to be quite the trip but you know i'm excited to take it and um looking forward to showing you guys the journey along the way so let's get it started because it's already about 10 to almost 11 o'clock a.m and got a 10 hour trip ahead of me so let's go now the question is going to be can i make it to benson north carolina within these nine hours it's a sunday and we're going to run into traffic for sure also you know there's always unknowns when you're taking a road trip so but hopefully we get there safely that's the most important thing you know um i'm solo driving as you can see nobody's with me i'm by myself so yeah solo driving you know just gotta make sure you stay safe stay awake stay attentive got a long drive here um but yeah definitely better to kind of stop off in the middle than having to drive it all the way through but we're gonna see if we can make it we're gonna make it uh to benson within these nine hours that's what this gps says let's see so what's crazy guys is the average speed when you're driving through a highway in america especially down south we're doing 80 miles an hour and for those who don't know miles an hour that's about 120 kilometers an hour it's um it's considered pretty fast but here it's quite normal you know but coming from other countries it definitely feels pretty fast to be going this speed you know constantly for hours at a time about I think a hundred miles in or 120 miles in I'm gonna stop off at this rest stop just to use the bathroom real quick but so far the ride has been not too bad no traffic thank God knock on wood I don't have any wood to knock on but it's been a intense journey I haven't driven this much so you know in a long time on these big roads you know one thing I was thinking as I was driving was like it's crazy how i just got 120 miles done which you could say is about about 200 kilometers in i did it in like a minute uh a minute in an hour and a half or something yeah hour and a half and you know i remember i was in the philippines and we had a trip that was like a bus trip it was about seven or like a six hour journey and it was about what I just did right now in, a, in an hour and a half. It's funny because, you know, it really just depends on the roads and stuff and how fast you're going. Like, I mean, 
I don't know if you just saw from my footage, people drive really fast here. So, you know, I was going about 80 miles per hour the whole way. But here we are, good old McDonald's and a restaurant. I'm gonna just go inside and grab, a, not grab anything, just use the bathroom and then be on the way. Here's my card, man. I make travel vlogs. Travel? So I just like make videos about traveling to different places. Oh. Where are you guys from? We're from oh, Baker. Baker. Where? Baker. 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 Where? County. Baker County. In Florida? Yeah. Where are we right now? Orlando. 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 All right, cool. Yeah, I'm driving down from South Florida. I'm going up to Jersey. Are you going? So I got a long travel to go. Yeah, but so. good luck on your journey. You guys, are you guys staying here or you guys got a journey to go? We going back. To, uh, back All right, well, have a safe journey, guys. Enjoy. And check out the channel. You guys will be on it. <laughs> So we uh, pulled off the highway now, and now I'm in these like smaller country roads, pretty much, I guess you could call them. But still pretty big interstates, but these are like more smaller county roads throughout the US that you could also use to get around state to state. Obviously those bigger highways that I was on before are much faster, but there are some shortcuts through here. So that's why I'm taking this little county road through the north of Florida, I guess we're getting to. But Florida is such a big state, it takes such a, long time to cross through florida to get to the next state which is georgia which we should be in in another hour or two but um long long state man i mean on the map it looks long i think it's longer than it is um but we're making progress and um we're gonna see if we can get there by you know the time that i had i think it's at around 8 15 right i'm still on schedule kind of um haven't ran into anything crazy yet still got 515 miles left to go which is whew, that's long man so you know one thing about driving through these country roads is they're very beautiful um you know the greenery you know, you'll see like farms and horses and cows along the way and it's just a nice scenery but it's just straight it's literally just straight, straight, straight for miles, miles, hours at a time, just straight. So it does get a bit like taxing because like you, you stop focusing. Like, you know what happens is like when you're, when you're driving on like curvy, bumpy roads, you can't not focus on that because obviously you're, you know, instinctually you're just focused. But when you're just going straight at a steady pace, I mean, you start to doze off. You gotta be careful. Like, I mean, there's a few times just now where I was just like literally just dozing off. I had to remind myself, holy shit, I'm driving. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm driving down this country road, and I wanted to just stop off because I just wanted to kind of show the scenery. You have like these local farms here that kind of grow their own fruits and vegetables and sell them along the highway so you have people who open up their shops because we're close to georgia so there's people who open up shops they sell you know peaches and oranges so let's go see what we can get over here and if we're able to pay with card or not i don't know let's see so this looks like a local kind of shop they got like watermelons here one watermelon is eight bucks and then they got some local peaches hello how are you guys is this your shop? No. Oh, no, you guys are. <laughs> oh, you can, you can buy. Who's, whose shop is this? Oh, over here. All right, cool. All right. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm just making a video about uh, like a road trip from Florida all the way up to New Jersey. So I'm showing some things along the way. And I saw your beautiful farm. So is this your farm? No. This is... Uh, Tommy. This is... Tommy King. Tommy Keen. Okay, and where are we, by the way? Stark. Stark. Actually, this is Lowdy. This is? Yeah, this what? is Lowdy. 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 And we're in, we're still in Florida. Uh huh. All right, so we're still in Florida. Uh, Lowdy. Lowdy. Okay. Lowdy. Hey. Lowdy. 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 All right. Sorry, guys. I'm try I'm still trying to get my names right here. Awesome. So, how long has this farm been here? Like, uh, is this something that's? Over 60 oh years, wow. Okay, so it's a long standing business. And by the way, do you guys accept card or is it only cash? It's card oh. when it works, when the internet works. When the internet works, okay. And how is that here? Is it like in and out or? Yeah, 
it goes in and out, but it's been doing better. It's been doing better. Cool. Because I want to get some peaches. I know that's like the... the, the... We'll make it work. Yeah? Cool. Awesome. All right. So these are the local peaches, so I'm guessing. Now, are these Georgia peaches or... No, South Carolina. They're South Carolina. All right. Cool. We still got like... Okay. All right. Awesome. I'm gonna buy one bundle of these, these local peaches. See, you guys got, and you can smell the peaches are really good, and they got some corn and onions. What the heck is this? Oh, some garlic level pickled patch. Some pickled garlic. It looks like I don't even know. Interesting. Some fresh honey. Wow. Yep. Yeah, Where are you from? Mass. Mass? Oh, nice. You guys are also taking a road trip or? No. Okay. I've been here for what, 15 years. 15 years. Wow. Okay. And how do you like it here? I like it. Yeah? What's what's special about this place? Is there something that like... Country. Country. <laughs> so you, yeah, you're from Massachusetts, so you know the city life. Yeah, yeah. This is like a complete removal of that yeah, yeah. get it get it away from it yeah very nice what's your name by the way Scott. Meyer nice to meet you all righty so I'll get one of these ten bucks for some for some peaches now where from Massachusetts are you originally New Bedford, New Bedford. okay we own city nice okay got it and how and you said 15 years you've been down oh, 15 here years, yeah. and you don't regret the move no no not at no. all okay the only thing I miss is uh, snow on uh, Christmas time. You miss snow? Oh, I Christmas. Hate, I hate the snow. Yeah, but it does definitely give you some yeah, holiday yeah. spirit, right? Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Like, I know Over when I'm... here but, um, for Christmas, winter time, it's like palm trees lit up. That's yeah, it. <laughs> that's it. I actually felt that in Florida, too, because I'm from, obviously, I'm born and raised in New York and New Jersey. And when we're down in Florida, because my family's in Florida, you definitely feel that during the winter time. You don't get that kind of same festivities yeah, yeah. that you do, obviously, with the snow. Yeah. It just feels right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I know a lot of my viewers think that America is, uh, you know, we're full of internet and everything, but there are remote places here as well where getting internet and things like that is difficult as well. One thing of peaches right here. And how much does it cost? $10. Ten dollars. All right, cool. So I'm gonna pay with the card. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. It, let's see how that works out. Yeah. Yeah. So as I stated, the internet here, as the nice lady told us, is not always. It's it's in and out. Yeah. So we're gonna see how this goes. Are you originally from this city? I am. Oh yeah. Born and raised. Born and raised. Here in Lodi. Nice. I am from Lodi. Well, I like Lodi. I love Lodi. You guys are nice people from what I've well, seen. Thank you. <laughs> I think we are. Yeah. Are you also from here? No. No. I'm you're from Virginia. Oh, it's you're from, from you're also traveling back up? <laughs> well, our son lives in Jacksonville. So okay. Phone number, sir? Uh, 908. 908. Where are you going? Down? I'm headed up to Jersey. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, so I got a long trip. I'm actually not going all the way I was going to say, yeah, that's yeah, a long yeah. I'm, way. I'm definitely going to stop over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, brought you down here? Uh, my family actually lives in Florida. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I was visiting them. Now I'm driving back up. And I make, like, uh, YouTube videos about traveling. Oh, nice. So I'm showing the road trip from Florida to New Jersey. Oh, trying to show yeah. things along the way yeah. as well, yeah. You so, go up 95? Yeah, going up 95. But I was like, uh, let me take this way. It's a little bit more scenic. Exactly. And now we're going to get on the 95 soon. Yeah. So thank you so much. Good to go, And we're all good? We're all set? Good. Awesome. Look at this, guys. The world of travel vlogging has become so small. <laughs> I just met a travel vlogger while here. And your right. channel is Rangoon's World. Rangoon's World. Check it out. It'll make you smile. Awesome. And what kind of uh, content do you make? Just so... It's travel vlog. Local stuff at the beach. Uh, best things to do in Sarasota. Things awesome. to do in Longboat Key. Awesome. My you family know. is from there. Yeah, that's where we're going. We're going back to Sarasota. Oh, really cool. Now, well, so. enjoy your trip, guys. And okay, I'm definitely going right. to check out your channel. Okay. And guys, go support him. He's a fellow, he's a fellow travel vlogger. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, have a good one, guys. Safe travels. All right. Hey, how are you? Good. Are you also traveling? Yes. All right. I'm with her. Oh, oh, you're with her. Okay, all right. You guys have a safe trip as well. Enjoy. Take care. Thank you. All righty, guys. So, as you can see, everybody's nice, kind. Uh, that's that southern hospitality. But look, right here, you can see there's a farm. 
I figured let me uh, stop off while I'm still on this county road because pretty soon I'm gonna be back up to uh, um, the major highways and we won't see too much like this but look at these farms that go on for a long distance here but yeah that was a good time and uh, now it's time to get back into the vehicle and back on the road oh boy rain there's nothing that ruins a road trip more than rain and that is what we're getting right now um, it's not a lot but it's definitely enough to put a damper on the fun the sun is gone and the rain has begun but hopefully it doesn't last too long guys because as I oh there's a police there's a police car and I'm vlogging by the way guys vlogging while driving is not the most advised thing I wouldn't advise everyone out there to just vlog while driving the way I am right now but you know what I'm saying you got to do what you got to do all right guys so now I'm in Georgia and I felt it's only right that I try this peach once I'm in Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Because Georgia's all about them peaches. But I'm just gonna stand here, right here on the highway, guys. I'm in the middle of 95, pulled over next to this creek in the middle of this random town here in Georgia. And I'm gonna try this Georgia peach. Wow, it's amazing. So sweet. Usually I try peaches up north. Look at that. Nice and fuzzy on the outside, but absolutely amazing. Something really beautiful about America's rural parts like this. I mean, yeah, there's nothing in sight. My phone service is pretty much not really working that great here. But something about being in these remote locations. I mean, granted, I am in the middle of a highway at the moment, but just, you know, being out here in these fields, like, it's just really different gonna enjoy this peach we made it to Georgia welcome to Georgia so as you saw back there you know when I was talking to the people in the uh, random farm on that county road people in the south of America you know, I think a lot of times the south or just you know rural America gets this bad kind of rap that like you know they're all racists and you know these crazy conservatives who have no you know, understanding or you know, compass of what's going on in the outside world you know or they don't care about anybody else but their own but one thing about people in the south doesn't matter where you go usually not all the time obviously there's exceptions to the rule but usually they're kind people you know they're not out to hurt you they're simple they're simple folks and you know when I was speaking to those people back there Cause I'm a city guy like I you know we come from we come from New York New Jersey I mean as much as people don't want to consider New Jersey a city New Jersey is a city and I gotta be careful there's a lot of cops here in Georgia on the, on the highways I mean I just passed a cop and I'm holding this thing up but um, I think in the cities we have this misconception that people in the south are just like racist and you know bigoted human beings but actually for the most part from what I've experienced, if you talk to them, get on their level and just like have a candid conversation, they're really cool people, man. You know, I, and I think I have that misconception too sometimes that Americans can be like that. Now granted, you know, Americans can be ignorant and stuff, but uh, about, about the outside world. But as far as like being kind to like outsiders, I think there is a real thing when it comes to Southern hospitality that you don't experience that in other parts of, of America. But when you're in these rural southern areas of America, you'll definitely experience a different feeling from the people. My gas tank is almost on empty. And there is no gas station in sight. I probably should have stopped for gas before, but, you know, that's how I do it. I wait till last minute sometimes. And it's not a good thing because um, you don't want to run out of gas here in the middle of 95. That would not be... <laughs> That would not be advisable. So hopefully we find something soon. There it is, guys. $56 to get 14 gallons. <sighs> that's ridiculous. I mean, that's expensive from what I'm used to. I think, you know, gasoline around the world has been pretty, uh, pretty expensive. So but $56 to fill this up. And I have to do this 
three times. So yeah, I mean, you can say $60 to fill it up. I have to do it three times. At least one more time before I head back to Jersey. So you're looking at $180 for gas. It's cheaper to fly, to be honest. Alrighty guys, here I am inside of the Kroger where there's supposed to be a Starbucks. Welcome to all of you who've never been to a huge American supermarket. This is what it looks like. You got huge bags of Tostitos. Everything is big in America. And this is South. This is the South. Look at this huge pack of Pringles. Longer than my arm. I think anybody who's never seen an American supermarket would be surprised by how big of the things that are sold here. Look at these long lanes just full of every single kind of beverage that you can imagine. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Code Red. What do you guys know about Mountain Dew Code Red? Dr. Pepper, some Crush, A&W, Canada. This is America, guys. If you want sugar, fat, and anything unhealthy, you have it here in this store. But if you want healthy, good luck looking for it. That's the tough part about America. And that's why there's a lot of unhealthy people here in America because the things that are sold to us, I mean, just look around in this supermarket. And it's cheap too, you know, you want to buy a huge bottle of soda, you could buy two for five dollars. Uh, I mean, none of this stuff is good for you. But hey, it tastes good, that's for sure. And it's the most sweet processed sugars that you can imagine. But that's what makes that's what makes it really good interesting there's a starbucks just like right here in the middle of in the middle of it all and that's where we're gonna go the starbucks hello how are you so glad i found you guys i've been needing a coffee and i just haven't been able to find any by the way what what city is this in what's that Georgia, right? Yeah, yeah. Richmond Hill, Georgia, guys. So we're in Richmond Hill, Georgia. This is the Kroger in Richmond Hill, and they have a Starbucks. So can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. So are you guys from uh, Richmond Hill? I'm actually from Colorado. You're from Colorado. What brings you to this part of Georgia? So remote. My dad's job. Uh, okay, so you, you were kind of, because of parents, you moved down yeah. here as well. I'm going right back once I move out. <laughs> which, which part of Colorado are you from? Uh, Littleton is like right outside of Denver. Okay, and what do you miss about it compared the to the mountains? Yeah, it's a complete shift in landscape and weather and everything, right? But I, have, I do like the beach now, so it's gonna be hard going back and on. Oh, there's a beach here. Oh yeah, it's a oh, coastal it's like city. An hour away. Oh, awesome. So, what's special? What would you say is special about this city, about Richmond Hill? For those who are from here, what is special? <laughs> You're from here. What? What's your name, by the way? Kaden. Kaden. Tell us something special for the people watching. There's oh, people watching from all over the I world. I will say it's it's nearby everything. It's a small town. Like yes. Yeah. Everything's either between one or two hours away. Like any of the beaches, like Savannah. I don't know if you've been down there, but that's like I've never been. Landmark. Okay. Okay. It's like 20 minutes away. Okay. Cool. Want to check it out? Okay. Awesome. But, um, so it's pretty central to yeah, anything I, that. I will you... say not. I wouldn't say not trying to say it's a bad city, but in terms of special, like being special, Richmond yeah. Hill isn't. Yeah. Super crazy, but it is next to a lot of things that are. Okay, got it. Awesome. Yeah. Got my coffee, aka the drug that I run on. Shout out to Starbucks. It was the only thing that was really available around here. Uh, that's the one thing about, you know, when you're driving through, you're not going to find like local coffee shops, so you just take what you can get. But this isn't so bad. Starbucks, like I, I said this in Vietnam, I've said this in all the countries that I've been to. One thing about Starbucks is it's pretty consistent, so, you know. So as I had that interaction with those you know, young adults working in Starbucks, I was just thinking to myself, kind of a sappy thought maybe, but it's just so funny how similar the world is, you know, like I go to Starbucks, I guess you could say all around the world and it's usually young people around that age working, trying to make a better life for themselves in their local town or city or whatever, just trying to make some money aside from college or whatever else they're doing and it just kind of shows you like how similar the world is you know just talking to people in different places it just shows you like everybody just wants to live a decent life have a decent income you know enjoy their life and you know be where their heart desires and 
like the girl she wants to go back to Colorado as soon as she can because she loves it there she loves the mountains and I don't know just kind of a silly thought but you know it's just interesting how similar the world is and if we could just understand that like we all pretty much just want the same things for the most part it's like maybe the world would be able to get along more who knows but in other news I am way behind schedule guys I, I wanted to get there by 8 15 still on the road it's getting dark and now my gps says that i'm not going to get there till 9 30. i think you know because i've been stopping and trying to get these experiences as well but you know what i'm having a good time and i'm safe and that's what matters but definitely way behind schedule but hey let's keep going got to get to this hotel apparently it's some hampton in in the middle of the trip in north carolina so looking forward to that. hours in pretty much 400 a little bit more than 400 miles done and about a little bit more than two hours left I'm pretty tired um, yeah just been going in a straight line as you guys can see from the scenery and like I said it's beautiful but you get exhausted but we're almost there just got to get there safely in one piece and um, I'll show you guys what the hotel looks like but nighttime is upon us yeah guys uh, driving compared to flying to New Jersey from Florida is so much of a difference like driving takes about you know it's gonna take me two days because I'm stopping but if you drive it through it takes about 20 hours compared to flying which takes like two two and a half hours so yeah imagine the difference but it's a lot more scenic you get a lot to see you get get to see a lot more along the way so that's the cool thing at least south of the border we made it Almost guys, almost where I need to be, but I really need to use the bathroom. And this place is a very famous place. It's known as South of the Border. It's basically when you kind of just cross, I forgot what it is. It's like a line that kind of divides the North and the South or whatever. So I think this is the exact point where that is, I don't know. But they have a lot of like sombreros and Mexican themed items here. It's quite interesting looking The themes that they have so it's south of the border, but then there's Mexican theme, but we're nowhere near the Mexican border And then also there's just a random monkey here Just waving his arms kind of looks like me but Yeah, it's just a Huge guy in a sombrero over here the Myrtle Beach shop Pedro's Myrtle Beach shop very interesting Pedro's Pura Vida. I'm really curious to know why there's such a Mexican theme here. I want to ask somebody. Cigarettes by the carton. All right. They selling cigarettes by the carton. No pets allowed. All right, guys. We are in the middle of uh, nowhere here. All right. This is Pedro's Pantry. You can buy some liquors. It's a huge shop, but it's empty. Hello. How are you? Good. I got a question for you. What's with the Mexican theme here? The sombreros and everything? Yeah, I don't know. Because it says south of the border, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. 
All right, so she doesn't know either. And she works here, so. Let me use this bathroom. All righty guys, so they got a huge shop here, but not much in it. Pretty interesting. Hello. Hi. How, how are you, you doing? I'm good. I got a question for you, because I'm making- Hi, baby. I got, I'm making a video about this, you know, road trip. I just want to know, do you know what this Mexican theme here has anything to do with? Like, is there any significance to it in this town or? I'm thinking, no, 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 no. no. Don't <laughs> you don't want to be on video tape? Okay. All right, so quick background, cause I got to do it before I forget. That lady that I was just talking to, she was camera shy. She didn't want to be on camera, but she gave me the whole background on everything here. So basically, this place has been here since like 1949 or something like that and um, what happened was you had a, a guy named Alan Schaefer or something like that he started this like one thing here he just had like one shop or something like that and I think it was this one maybe or something but anyway she's grew up in this town this town is Dillon South Carolina so she grew up here and basically what she told me is her grandfather used to work for that guy she was like one of his right hand men he sorry was one of his right hand men and the reason why he named it south of the border is because actually this is we are on the border of North Carolina and South Carolina we're right there this is the border but um, the I guess the border thing comes from the whole Mexican thing but we are actually on the border between the north and south of america so there is some significance to the border thing but it was really cool to hear her story i was like can i get you on camera just uh to explain your story but she was like nah i don't like being on camera and stuff i was like all right it's cool no worries you know but she's actually from here she said i used to play on these grounds i used to run around here and we used to come here and that place that i was just in that's a pantry now that is actually that used to be a um a nightclub according to what that lady said so yeah she's been here since the beginning since the start so that was pretty interesting to hear that hello how are you where are you guys from Dillon. We're right, we're oh right. you're from Dillon? We're right here local. oh nice yeah. i was just wondering what is the significance of the south of the like i understand we're on the border between north and south yep, that, but what is the significance of the the whole mexican theme is that because that been for years it's been here during how many years ever since i was a little boy since you were a little boy okay yeah. okay all right yeah. and so is this the most like known thing in dylan like this south of the border yeah when you, yeah yeah two that's about the only two is next place is myrtle beach okay next place is myrtle beach yeah. and you're from here born and raised yeah and to you since you're from here I like to find out what what is special about this place to you. It's like a Mexican. Well, you have things, a little things to do for the kids, and yeah, they usually have a lot of stuff for the kids. Okay, yeah. okay, and but ice cream. but growing up, is there something that stands out to you about this place, or is it just home? Well, it it always been the tours area, somewhere to stand out. Yeah, yeah. They have rides, animals, got snakes. Oh, all right. Got snakes down there, alligators. Cool. Yeah, I saw all of that, 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 the animals and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's always been, it's always cool, been cool. something nice. We want somewhere to go, cause like I said, next place is beach. Yeah, yeah, that's so, it. So it's like a stopover kind yeah, of, and it's been go. known for that. All right, yeah, cool, they had cool. motels. What's your name, by the way? Quick. Meyer. Mike. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, they got, uh, now they're doing, uh, doing the four wheel. Uh, oh. Uh, the dirt bike. So oh, okay, so they, it's come a long way then. Yeah, they, they doing dirt bikes down here now. Awesome. Right. So it's nice to meet some people who are actually from here. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. you guys have a good night. Have a good one. What's oh you gonna subscribe? Thank you so much, man. Have a good one. What's your name by the way? Jake. Jake. Jake, Jake. shout out to you, Jake. Alright guys. Bye. <laughs> Alright, nice people. So yeah, basically it's a stopover town. It's known for that. Dillon, South Carolina. Nice people. Everybody's cool, man. People are just cool to meet from the south, you know? Good people. happens at this part of the road trip is the road turns into two lanes and then passing these huge trucks on your right side look how close you get to the trucks you know what I mean and you have to be very very careful because sometimes they're dozing off and you know it just gets a bit scarier at night you know having to drive this fast I don't know if you guys can really see but you know all these small two-lane highways 
passing these huge 18 wheelers. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Alrighty guys, we have made it. We made it to the Hampton Inn. <laughs> Finally. Thank the good Lord. And you know what? For a hotel on the side of I-95 in the middle of North Carolina, it's actually pretty nice. I mean, the lot is beautiful, well maintained. Even the hotel from the outside looks quite welcoming. And you know what's funny? I'm gonna show you something crazy. Look at this, they even have Tesla car chargers. I mean, this is how we know we're in the future of random hotel on the side of I-95. As you can see, literally, that's the highway right here. You can see the cars passing along. That's the highway we just got off of. And they have electric chargers. Very nice. Which is a sign that this is actually a nice hotel, you know? I think. Let's see. Let's go inside and find out. Welcome. Welcome to the Hampton Inn in Benson, North Carolina. Here we are. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I just got here. I'm supposed to check in. Yeah. I'm just making a video about the hotel. Huh? Are you from Benson? Yes. Awesome. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Hi. I make I make travel vlogs, like YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I've been traveling from florida going up to jersey and i said let me stop here first mm. take a little nap you know get a yeah. nice rest and then get back on my way because it's not good to drive you know straight through you right. get a, you get a bit tired you know so um by the way my name is meyer so it's probably under m-y-e-r is this a new hotel 2018 okay because it's looks very nice and new so do you have a confirmation number um, I do not have it. Um, All right, well, can I see your driver's license? Right sure, there? sure, sure. I can give you that part, Jessica. And so, what's special about this town? Is there something special about Benson, North Carolina? Agriculture. Agriculture. Mm -hmm. In what sense? Farming. Farming. Okay, so this town is known to be a farming hub here in North Carolina, or is it something that, like, um, like is that the main export of this town oh mm -hmm. very nice so as you heard the nice young lady jessica say that that is what is special about benson i've been asking this question to people who are from each town just to kind of get the lay of the land you know so awesome thank you jessica of so we're gonna head back we're gonna head up to the room and see what it's like so i'm checked in jessica is a very sweet lady thank you jessica You're Alrighty, so now let's go check out what this room looks like. Um, I don't know where the oh, oh, where's the elevator? Duh. All right, I am room three twenty six. So far, the hotel is very nice. Hi guys, how are you doing? Where are you? What floor? Uh, three, please. Thank you. Sir, are you guys traveling also? No, no. DoorDash. Oh, DoorDash. Okay, cool. Nice, awesome. It's definitely not mine. I just got here, so. <laughs> You guys are too. All right, happy dashing. Thanks. <laughs> Have a great night. Have a good night. Hey, nice hallways and an ice machine. That's very necessary. All right, three fourteen to three twenty eight here this way. All right, guys. So so far, I'm very impressed by this hotel. It's actually uh, it's pretty new actually. What did she say? I think two thousand eighteen. So that makes sense why it's in this good of condition. Three two six is gonna be on this side. Voila, here we are guys, the Hampton Inn. Whoa, this is really, wow, this is impressive. You know, when I thought of Hampton Inn, I was thinking like some dungy roadside motel, but not like this, wow. This is really, really nice. Hold on, how do I turn on the lights though? I don't even know how to turn on the lights. Uh, oh, here we go. There's one lamp, another lamp, a bunch of lamps, all right. There's no main light up here. Okay, all right, cool. Well, anyways, guys, this is actually impressive. A very impressive hotel room. You got this huge, like, chair couch kind of thing. I forgot what they call this, but very nice. You can lay down on it, do some work if you, if you want to lay down and work. They got a little desk there. Wow, I think I'm going to use that today, actually, to do some work. Um, 
nice big mirror here you got a coffee machine they give you coffee and they also have a continental breakfast included um what else you got a huge tv if you want to use it which i never use a microwave if you have food and you want to heat it up which i do um huge bed i think this is like a king size if i'm not mistaken yeah definitely a king size bed really really nice wow all right let me lay down for a second and check Ooh, man pretty comfortable yeah not bad not a bad bed oh wow but yeah guys very nice for a hampton inn all right huge mirror here as well which is actually a sliding door to the bathroom wow beautiful all right let's check out the bathroom wow i mean what else could you ask for guys look at this beautiful hotel room it's a pretty huge shower i mean wow the towel of the toilet is nice and clean everything is very clean that's what i have to say like everything is very like, immaculately clean and i think partially due to the fact that it's a new hotel but also like i mean i think they do a really good job maintaining it as well i hope it stays like this because wow more hotels on the side of i-95 definitely need to look like this you know nice chair to work as well but this is it guys we made it and you know what the final destination is not too bad now obviously there's more to this trip which i'll be doing tomorrow um headed from here from north carolina to new jersey so more adventures to come so stay tuned i'm going to sign off right now because i'm tired after 10 hours of driving so i'll check in with you guys soon good morning from benson north carolina slept really well on the bed last night it is as comfortable as it looks and as i mentioned last night i just woke up about nine o'clock gonna go see this continental breakfast here what they have to offer here in the hampton inn but overall a good experience here and it's a beautiful sunny day here in north carolina and here it is the continental breakfast guys we got some dark roast light roast decaf roast and some hot water here and they give you an option of some fruits and what else ah nice so you get take some yogurt if you want a little fruit salad action some fruits oh, nice. Ooh, nice some yukon gold potatoes smoked bacon western style omelets very nice Hi, how are you doing? Good. What's your name? Katrina. Katrina. Katrina or? Katrina. Katrina. That's 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 unique. I like that. I like that. My name is Meyer. I'm making a video. Well, I'm actually making a video about like uh, traveling from south to north. Uh -huh. So each stop along the way, I'm like showing the hotel, talking to people, okay. and just kind of giving the overall vibe. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just You want to you wanna say anything? Yeah, on that, man. No, <laughs> we have a great breakfast. Yeah. But no, for real, what's your YouTube channel? I'm going to give it to you guys okay. right now, okay. actually. I have a card. There you go. That's my card. So I, I make, like, travel content, mainly. Okay. I actually don't usually travel in America. Uh -huh. I'm usually in, like, Asia, Africa. I, I, oh, I just don't. Okay. Yeah, I like to discover those places, but I was here visiting family in Florida. Okay. So I was like, let me let me see what it is driving up. Are you guys from here, from Benson? Yeah. Okay. Are you bo <laughs> born and raised? No, I, I was. I, I, I have. I moved from Florida to here, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I have. Are you, you yes. born and raised? Yeah. So is there something about this town or city or whatever you call it, like? that is special or to you i mean to me some of the people that's here that i've been knowing for a minute yeah. they're you know they're good people so okay good this is like a story time. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it I really is. go across the bridge it okay it looks like how it looks forever really about the library so yeah. story time. I, I might have to go check that out on my yeah, way out have a festival new, every year uh, too called museum up there too awesome yeah awesome. then we have like activities up here at the grove that's what we call it today we have like live bands and stuff that goes out cool, there too cool. I wish I had more time. I got to get on my way, but I'm definitely. I might check the historical if thing you come out. Come back in um, September. They have their uh, town festival. Yeah. Really? And the whole thing is like the old west. Yeah. Okay. People riding horses. Oh wow! Yeah, wow, it's wow. crazy. That's, <laughs> that's. I'm not used to. It. Yeah, I'm from New York. I'm from New York and New Jersey. Yeah, so it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
But I like what you said though, because like to me, the more I realize, like a place is about the people. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like it, the place could be the nicest place in the world, but mm-hmm. if the people aren't good, then the place isn't good. Yeah. And the place could be like not that great, but if the people are nice, it makes it yeah, so it much makes better. It better. Like, yeah, makes it better. Like for real, I'm yeah. a friendly person. Try to be anyway. Honestly, so far <laughs> everybody I've been meeting here has been friendly, so okay. I, I do see that. <laughs> Thank you so you. much. You're welcome. I'm gonna try this breakfast out. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got this um, omelet here with home fried potatoes. It's um, a you know, simple breakfast. Um, my, the funniest thing I find is when people say continental breakfast, because continental is supposed to mean like world, so it has things from different parts of the world, but this is pretty American breakfast if you ask me, but really good. Got these potatoes and these eggs. By the way, I forgot to mention, so this hotel room for one night costs about $115. So for those of you listening from like Asia or Africa where you can get hotels for a lot cheaper and probably just as nice, this probably sounds like a lot, but for my Americans and people who are uh, here and used to the prices here, it's not bad for a hotel off the interstate, you know what I mean? And you get breakfast and everything too, plus it was really comfortable. But I'm going to eat this breakfast, head out, um, and I'll check in with you guys. That coffee at the Hampton Inn just didn't cut it. So I was like, let me go find a local coffee shop because usually I like to do a local coffee shop. So I was like, let me see if I can find something nice and local. And I found a cool little coffee shop. Actually, this whole area of this downtown is very historical. All the buildings are very old. You got these train tracks here where the train's about to cross. And it's just like one of those small, little old school historic American towns where the buildings have like, this is like their downtown, very old kind of architecture but nice appeal to it though look at this mural greetings from Benson very nice so there's apparently a coffee shop over here we're gonna go check it out because if you know me by now and if for those who are new those who know me know that I don't play around when it comes to coffee I need my coffee and I need a good coffee in the morning and that hotel coffee I mean their breakfast was great but their coffee was eh. for this train to pass and it's so long it's been going on for like two minutes already and it's still i think it's almost done Jeez, that's a long train already crossing the train tracks and i think this right here in the corner is this place that i'm trying to go to called cornerstone but really interesting little town here in north carolina i have to say pretty cool i love benson Cornerstone Cafe and Coffee. Let's go inside. Oh, wow. It's a nice place. Very, very nice. Hello. How are you? Hi. How you doing? I'm just making a video about Benson. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Are, do you mind or no? <laughs> All right. Cool. Are you from Benson? I'm not. I'm from uh, down down the road. Oh, from down the road. So how far is like each town from each other here? Um, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, so it's like small, small towns. Yeah. But it's a really cute little town you guys yeah. have. Yeah, really yeah. Cute, Very right? nice. Busy this time of day. And a nice local coffee shop, yeah. which I've been looking for. Yeah. So I'm gonna do. You guys have cold brew or? We have cold coffee. It's cold not coffee. Cold brew. Okay. Uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee. Uh, can I do like a iced latte? Yeah. With uh, what kind of milk do you guys we have use? Oat, almond, soy, non-fat. I'll do uh, oat milk. Oat milk. Yeah. Any flavor? Um, uh, with uh, wow, there's so many. I guess white chocolate. <laughs> white chocolate. Yeah. And did you want that regular or large? I'll take uh, regular is fine. Yeah. yeah. Cream? Uh, no whipped cream. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go ahead and pay for that? And I'll pay by card. Okay. How long has this place been here? We used to be down the road. I think we've been at this location for about four years. Four years. Yeah. Cool. You right. said regular size, right? Yeah, regular size. All right, guys. So as you as you heard, the lady, six dollars for a coffee here. Six dollars for one small coffee. I mean, welcome to America, man. It's crazy. You know, um, that's one thing here. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. I'm in the middle of North Carolina. The price of coffee remains the same, but hopefully, it's good. So. All right, guys, got my Cornerstone coffee here. Okay, you know, let's just say 
Benson, North Carolina is not known for their coffee. But that being said, cute little town, nice stop off. The hotel was good. Now, got to get back on the route, back to Jersey. Third fill up, guys. This should be the last one. I'm gonna let you know how much this one is, but it's probably gonna be around the same thing, you know, like $60. So three tanks to get back to Jersey, which means $180 for gas. Not the best, but hey, it's the world we live in now, man. Gas is expensive. $51. That's actually the cheapest I've paid since I left. Usually it was around $57, $58. So shout out to North Carolina. Nice place to sit down, have your coffee. Just kind of taking a little break. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are watching this like, well, don't you just want to get over with the road trip, get from one place to the other? But truly, no. I mean, I'm not in a rush to get back. I do have a flight to catch in like two days, but I'll be there before then. But the point is to enjoy the journey. That's what it's all about, you know? It's not about like, oh, I have to get there and then I have to get to the next place. It's like, what happens in between? And, you know, I met a lot of cool people, seen a lot of cities and towns that I probably wouldn't usually really ever see or got to know about some places that I would never really even dwell too deep on because I just wouldn't think of it, but yeah. You know, some good experiences so far on this road trip. But gonna finish this coffee and then get right back to it. We are officially in the Baltimore, Maryland, uh, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, the DMV. Shout out to all my Ethiopian people because they, they're pretty big out here, but <laughs> um, so yeah, basically once once you get here on 95, especially at around right now, 5 o'clock p.m. on a Monday, you know, uh, the traffic is pretty intense and, um, you know, we're barely moving at this point. So what I was thinking is there's an MGM that they just built off the highway right here. So I'm like, why don't I just go check that out, let this traffic finish up for the next hour or two. So I'm not really in a rush. And I'll show you guys what the casino looks like. Maybe get some food there as well. So uh, yeah, this is just, you know, it's been going on for a little bit here, so. Wow, when you pull up to the MGM, it looks uh, pretty grand. Right off the highway too, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna go inside for a quick, maybe just see it, you know, get out that traffic for a bit. I think I'm really allowed to film in here, but this is what the casino looks like. You got a whole bunch of tables, slot machines. This is what a casino in America looks like. It's a pretty crazy, crazy place, man. A lot of things going on, but yeah, I'm not really allowed to film here because I already got stopped. But you know, just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty awesome. This is the MGM. It's like games everywhere a bunch of games that you could play everywhere these are all like slot machines and stuff you know you can hit the slot but wow it just goes on forever lights everywhere but let me stop this before they before they catch me because there's a security here honest that was probably the ugliest welcome sign out of all the states that I've passed but yeah we made it we made it to New Jersey that was the um, destination and I'm here finally guys two days later <laughs> as you saw and a lot of adventures later but some wrap-up thoughts I guess first of all I forgot how fun solo road trips are 
you know, where you're just kind of driving by yourself and, you know, listening to your music, listening to your podcast, kind of in your own thoughts, behind the wheel, seeing different sights, you know, and stopping and you know, just the little things makes road trips really fun. Especially when the roads are nice and clean like this and you can just drive 80 miles an hour the whole way pretty much and just kind of smooth sail. It's a good feeling, you know, and uh, I forgot how, how fun they are. And then now this time vlogging and, you know, having all the experiences of meeting all these people along the way was awesome. And another thing that I learned is just like a lot about these rural towns in, in America even, like... A lot of these towns that we stopped in are towns that rely on people passing through, you know. I hate to call them pass-through towns, but, you know, they they definitely, their revenue definitely relies on people like us going and passing through. So, you know, uh, support these businesses when you can because you're supporting a little town in some ways. But, anywho, it was a fun trip. The people were awesome. You know, another thing... Sorry, one more thing before I wrap this up. The people showed me that we're all kind of just the same, you know, and people down here in these rural towns are very welcoming and, and uh, just fun to talk to. So, yeah, you never know who you'll meet and sometimes we have preconceived notions of certain people, certain places, wherever it may be in the world. But... Once you actually get to know those people, talk, sit with them, just have a brief conversation, share a few laughs, you realize that we're all just kind of the same, man. We're all human beings, we all bleed the same blood, and we all really want the same things. But with that being said, guys, this has been the road trip from the south to the north of uh, the United States of America. I got a lot more content coming up. I'm about to take an Africa, real East Africa trip. I hope you guys keep up with that. And to all of the new subscribers or the new people who are watching, don't forget to subscribe. Even the people who have been watching my videos, a lot of you have not subscribed yet. I don't say it often. I forget to actually tell you guys to even subscribe usually. But I am making this call to action because it would really help the channel out and I would really appreciate it. So please like comment subscribe share you know all of that fun stuff and remember continue to learn continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone and i will see you guys on the next one peace out